Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a video to watch, and the person was talking about floating uh, dockers or floating toolbars, and they really liked that when they floated it, it was like a block of letters. So we could do the same thing by just expanding this out. So you've got a block of letters, I mean, block of colors. I don't think we could probably dock that, but if you see it, I don't know if you can see that on your monitor, but there's a little, like four little dots and you get that four way cross. And all you have to do is just expand this line out and you get a, it's pretty cool. Uh, if I ever needed to get, so what I do like about it, it's all my uh, RGB colors, which I don't get to use very much, but if I wanted the purple, by the time I scroll down to purple, I can't see my no fill. So if we draw an item and make it blue, I have to scroll way up to get my no fill. I actually just created a hotkey that's just the negative minus sign, but I took it away uh, already. Might show how to do that, but uh, it's not that big a deal. But that way you can have a big square of, of colors just by grabbing, just kind of expand it out. You know, if you do it like that, I don't think that you can dock it like that because once you dock it, it goes back to this. Unless Corel will let me grab and see, I just don't think you can grab that. You know, you can always go uh, rows and say three rows and it's kind of the same thing. There's still some colors. Uh, well, they're, they're showing, but I really like that square idea but by, by just making it a little bit bigger. That way, the, all the colors are right there. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching. Hope that answered their question.